it has been a very, very, very long time since I have done a makeup tutorial and here I am today to do it. This look, I'd like to say, is a little faux freckles, it's a little glam, it's a little nude, it's a little summer, it's a little fall, a little back to school, a little you're gonna go out tonight. So if you wanna see how I did this look, then you know what to do. You better keep watching. Snuggle up in your couch, snuggle up your bed. Let's get ready to glam. And I know this video is gonna be a little bit lengthy. Um, I apologize just because I haven't filmed a makeup tutorial in a while and I really wanted to get in um, all of my normal makeup routine as in how I've been doing my skin lately, my eyebrows lately, and I feel like that's very important because I've been using new products and new techniques. So like I said, keep watching guys. This is a good one. I love this look. It's funny, I actually feel a little rusty because I hadn't filmed a makeup tutorial in like six months. So let's hop right in to this. So to start off, I always make sure I wash my skin morning and night. This is something that I used to be very, very lazy about. So to start off, I always make sure I wash my skin morning and night. This is something that I used to be very, very lazy about and I'm finding that as I'm getting older, I know that sounds stupid, I'm only 21, but it's true. As I'm getting older, I'm finding that skincare is so important. And I had made uh, a previous video about my skincare routine. Um, obviously, that changed over the course of time. So I always make sure that I wash my face day and night. So to start off, I use the Blemish Treatment Toner by Heritage Store. Uh, I got this at work, and this has been a life changer not even kidding if you are someone that struggles with any kind of acne or even just like occasional blemishes this is <laughs> this is definitely something that you need to be checking out and putting into your everyday regime I have had some crazy breakouts this summer I think it's because of the heat and the sweat and for the fact that I wear seven layers of makeup so I understand but at the same time it sucks who wants their skin all bleh when they're trying to put on a full face of makeup, no one. So this guy has been my lifesaver. So I first toned with this, and then I recently just picked this up at Dwayne Reed because I saw it was on sale, and it was originally very expensive, so I was like, whatever, I'll just get it. And this is the L'Oreal uh, Collagen Moisture Filler. This is a daily lotion. So I'm gonna start off, I already toned my face. Just like two pumps of this little guy. Next, I, um, I actually got this with my Sephora points, and it's the Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. It's just this, like, tiny, tiny little bottle. So I just take a, um, a little bit of that on my finger, and I just put it underneath my eye. I don't really like to put it all over my face. I just find that I do struggle with some dark circles, so I just want to brighten them eyes up. I put them underneath my eyes. No, no. I also, I also, I also was just dealing with a really nasty eye infection. Um, I think it's because of the brush I was using. It was very rough on my eyelid, and I should have taken the hint when my eyelid started peeling. As you can see, it's like still a little red, still a little crusty, but I ended up waking up last week and my entire eye was almost swollen shut. So I haven't been wearing makeup, um, but this look kind of inspired me with the no lashes and whatnot. So after I use, <laughs> so after I use my little hangover replenishing, want to make my eyes nice and bright, I'm gonna go in with the Benefit Pore Professional. I think it's so funny that I have all these like little sample bottles, but I really do use them sparingly, and I'm too cheap to buy the full ones. But I do love them. I mean. I use them every day. Like I've been using this for such a long time and it's still like not even barely empty. So I kind of go over the Pore Professional um, 
just around my nose. I know some people put it all over their face, but I tend to have really big pores um, kind of in this general vicinity. Uh, I guess that's because my skin tends to be more oily there than others. And what I've noticed about the Pore Professional is that it's easier to dab it on than to uh, like, you know, like, like blend it in. Um, dabbing is better. <laughs> I had to, I'm so mature. Um, dabbing I feel like is better because it truly gets the product into your pores, especially over here. I had some really nasty um, like cystic pimples in high school like only like two or three times but of course the two or three times like they all left a scar thanks thank you acne so just kind of fill those in you could already tell the difference that it's just starting to smooth let's get out it's starting to smooth skin I am done with that. I have been dabbling in color correction. Um, I know a lot of people color correct because they're like, oh my god, color correction is totally a trend now. So I have been using the, <laughs> the LA Girl Pro Conceal um, for my color correction. And also, I think people are a little afraid of color correcting because you are putting green on your face. But if you're doing it the proper right way, you're fine, and I'm telling you, it cancels out that redness dramatically. Dramatically. Why? Why must I break out? I'm telling you, my skin was so bad. Like, it was never that bad in my entire life. Like, my family saw me, and they're like, are you okay? Like, are you taking care of your skin? Because everyone would always make fun of me. They'd be like, well, not make fun of me. They'd be like, you have porcelain skin. And I'd be like, oh. Now they're like, what's wrong with you? And I'm like. <laughs> so after, oh, shh, I forgot to dampen my beauty blender. So I'm there. So next, I'm gonna go in with my NYX Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer. I love this little guy and I love NYX. I am such a NYX junkie. Um, I say that jokingly. No, I say that very seriously. Um, because I don't own a lot of their products, but all the products that I own by them, I'm disgustingly obsessed with. So back to what I'm doing, I'm just kind of going over those green spots with the concealer. And I'm just using my finger. I find when I use a brush, it kind of moves the green around and makes the product look a little weird on your face. You start looking like Shrek. So when I go over, it just totally cancels out that green. And you could already see, like, it's really blending into my face. I have been using MAC Matchmaster every single day. And recently, I went on vacation and I wanted to get a darker shade because I knew I was getting a tan. And instead of dealing with this, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna branch out and I'm gonna look for a drugstore brand dollars. And I was like, you know what? Like, let me try it out. Like, let me see what the hype is. And I meant to get the Pro Matte because I'm totally a matte girl, but I accidentally got the Pro Glow. When I got home, I was like, why is my face so shiny? I just burped. I got so excited. Life changing. So I'm just gonna blend that out. My go-to concealer for a while now has been the MAC Pro Longwear, um, but obviously you could tell it's like really janky right now and empty. So in the meantime, I have been using my LA Girl Pro Conceal in color porcelain, you know, lightest color. I do really like this concealer. Um, it just doesn't always blend how I want to sometimes. Sometimes it gives me a problem. I'm gonna go in and bake underneath my eye. I picked this up like, oh, that's really cheap. I think it was $7.99. And I have been using this for like six months. Not even kidding. And look, it's barely even done. And it's the Ben Nye Neutral Set Colorless Powder. Um, I've been using the <laughs> colorless because banana powder on me would honestly look 
crazy. So I use um, the, wow, it's kind of dirty right now. Um, just like a normal palette, and I just dump it out on top, like so. Um, just because, I don't know, I, I freelance, so I have like weird freelancing things that I like, regular makeup artist things that I always do at home on myself. So with that damp beauty, that damp beauty blender, I just really rolled that powder in there. And I'm just gonna go underneath my eye. Oh, that's a lot. I just kept putting more and more powder on, did not realize how much I got. So I let that sit on top because any kind of fallout that I might get from my eyeshadow, it definitely um, gets on top of the powder and then it's definitely not as hard to get rid of. Next we're gonna go on to eyebrows. Recently have been growing my eyebrows out and they have been getting bushy. So since we are doing that kind of natural, freckly, Feminine, feminine, feminine. I'm gonna go in with my Brow Wiz by Anastasia. Ever since tinting my eyebrows, it has been so much easier to fill them in. Um, usually I go for like that very sharp, like, you know, like fleeky eyebrows. But since that whole trend of the whole bushy undi undone eyebrow has been in, this has been a game changer for me. So I'm just gonna jump right in now with some eyeshadow. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna take some raw sienna. Just a little. And then start from the inner corner, going in. And that's another thing they teach you in makeup school is not to tap your brushes because it, let's say you're working on a client or something um, or let's say like a bride and you tap your brush and you got some like, I don't know, like shimmery purple. I don't know why a bride would wear shimmery purple, but you got some shimmery purple um, on, your, on your brush and you tap it and it gets on them they're not gonna be happy. But right now, I'm in like an old vintage t-shirt and some sweat shorts and I don't care. I do this home. I, I don't do this on other people, I only do it on myself. So don't tap, but you can tap if you're working on yourself. I got it all over my eye, not really pour, uh, pulling it into the inner corners of my eyes, but um, whatever product kind of pushed in there for me moving it in, that's what I want there for now. Next, I'm gonna go in with some burnt orange. Tap again. <laughs> but closer in, and this is just kinda building that warm dimension. Next, I'm gonna go in with some warm taupe. That warm taupe. I love this color. Talk about a pretty color. And this guy, I'm gonna do more so on my lids. Again, I'm using all the same brush because I want it to look a little like blended, smoky. I don't want it to look perfect and um, imprecise. And that's not the same brush, so it kinda blends in those colors. And this I'm gonna, I was blending from the outer corner of my eye, and now I'm just gonna go on my lid, because we are making this a little bit smokier. Ooh, I'm liking this. I'm gonna go in with another blending brush and just kind of blend that line out. I'm actually gonna take that Anastasia brush, and I'm gonna go in with what is it called? Tempura. I like it. I like the color, but the name just reminds me of tempura. Like shrimp tempura. So whenever I, I go to put it on my eye, I'm like, kind of want some sushi right now. I'm just going to end up using this brush, the one that ruined my eye. And I'm just going to go in... Um, the reason I'm using this is because I'm only using it for just this video and just to show you the tutorial 
So I'm just gonna do a little, and that's Cypress Umber. Whoa! Right here. See how I get it together. Right there. Oh, again, like, I don't want it to look very, um, this color, this color, this color. I want it to be all, like, a weird mishmash tie-dye, but it works. And I'm just gonna go back in with that <laughs> shrimp tempura into the corners of my eyes. Like, just... Like this. So I'm gonna go back in with the rash brush and blend it out that way. Again. Want to make it look undone. Another thing when I like about the powder is that you can kind of shape your eyeshadow with it too. I like to flick it upwards just for the fact that when you're doing your eyes, um, your eyeshadow should always go like this. Not like a full on perfect line, but it should always go in the alignment of your eye. So with the end of your eyebrow, that's because if it goes out, we don't realize, but it makes our eyes droop. So um, when I was in school and I was always doing my eyeshadow, my teacher would always yell at me. She's like, Sierra, blend, blend. <laughs> I'm like, not even kidding though. Blend it out, Sierra. I didn't teach you to do that. Like, not even kidding. So now I'm gonna take my Hula by Benefit bronzer, my Hori Grail, and take this random as anything bamboo brush. I don't know, I just always use this for my nose contour and I'm just gonna contour that nose with my finger now I'm gonna go back in with the modern renaissance palette and I'm gonna take primavera and vermeer so the two highlight ooh, ooh, I'm bad at this. <laughs> right there I'm gonna take the two highlight colors and I'm just gonna go do 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 and do all on the bridge of my nose like whoo look at that Dang, like that is a highlight. Like that is a creamy, beautiful, nice looking highlight. And I put a lot on because then I blend it in with um, the beauty blender. But I feel like this is really like what um, slims my nose down. Next, I'm gonna be going back in with that Modern Renaissance palette because you know, like, that's gonna be the gist of this video, me using my Modern Renaissance palette. And I'm gonna be going back in with that Raw Sienna and Burnt Orange. Um, and I'm gonna be going underneath my eye. So what I love about doing an under eye shadow, cause this is something I've recently gotten into, is that it really conceals all those bags underneath your eyes. So if you are extra tired and you're like, damn, I hate these under eye bags, you do that under eye drop shadow because it is gonna, it is gonna conceal those bags. And I'm also very not about like using a million colors on my eyes. I feel like it just gets messy unless they are super like, like super shaped. And I'm gonna go back in with that warm taupe. That's what I'm on right now. And I'm doing just the outer corners just to bring in that warmth from my crease. So now it looks very grungy right now. Super light, and just a, a tw like this. See, twist, twist, um, with those freckles. Cause if I just go like that, you don't see it. But when you twist, you're really getting the product on there. Just taking my fingers, my fingies, and I'm just blending them in with my fingers. I know that sounds weird, especially since like I'm taking off the product on my face, like the powder and whatnot but it makes them look more natural. Go in with my Anastasia Dip Brow in medium brown. And I'm gonna take my Sigma Eyeliner E05 brush and I'm just gonna dip it into here. So actually, I didn't like how those freckles were looking. So I just went through with a Q-tip and blended the ones out so now I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna be using some bronzing powder by MAC using my large Sigma powder brush in F30. I'm 
I'm gonna take, ooh, why did I keep, perfect. I'm gonna take my Sigma Large Angled Contour Brush in F40 and go back in with my Hoola Bronzing Powder and really start to sculpt those cheeks out. Now I'm gonna go in with the famous um, NARS Orgasm Blush and put some of that on. And now for the finishing touches, I'm gonna go in with my Jordana Cosmetics Rock and Rose Lip Liner. I need to get more. It's such a pretty color. I have been using this color for such a long time now. I'm gonna line my lips with that. I'm gonna go in with my all, all, all time favorite liquid lip color, and that is by Stila, and the color is called Caramello. I fell in love with this color um, not that long ago, but I have been wearing it all summer, almost every single day. It's amazing. It's it's the best lip color I've ever had. And not only that, I think Stila is the best liquid lip company that's out there. A new technique that I've been doing too is just tap tapping my lip. Once I'm done, putting on uh, the liquid lipstick and I feel like it kind of gets away all the excess lipstick that hasn't like absorbed. <laughs> So silly. So there you have it guys. Your faux freckled, little bit of glam, um, full look. And Knee is a little grumpy right now, but she's being a good, cute little weasel girl. I don't torture them, I promise. They're my little angel best friends. Look at her. She's like falling asleep in my hand. Or maybe she's just like, slowly losing consciousness. In the video, thank you so much for watching. I really liked making a makeup tutorial again. It's such a breath of fresh air. It's been so long. So I, I'm really, really, really gonna try hard to keep updating more, keep making more tutorials. And if you guys, like I always say, have any questions, comments, concerns, or wanna see a certain look, I will totally do it. Totally. <laughs> Look at the sweet princess. The oh, meow. So dramatic. Go. Thanks, guys. <laughs>